everyone, it's me, your girl, Scribe Not Scribble, and today I am most definitely not on the ball, because surprise surprise, being a starving artist doesn't pay the bills. I have been paying my bills however, which is why I'm not feeling up to par as a result, but I'm here, I feel like I'm dying, but at least there's a video. Oh, and just as a heads up, try not to take it too seriously, I'm not feeling well, so not really of the best quality right now. Our first question is, is my boyfriend over controlling? My boyfriend controls what I eat and I weigh 115 pounds and he keeps telling me that my arms got bigger and I eat a lot and he is controlling how much I eat and he says that I will get overweight one day and he isn't going to want to be with me if that happens. I feel like I eat a good portion of food but he thinks I eat too much, he even controls the shoes I wear, if he doesn't like something he tells me why am I wearing that. He says I'm a messy eater and he says I act childish and immature for watching high school shows from time to time. He tells me I'm a hoe and I'm a loser so I don't know what to do and he hit my mouth and wear it in his car when he started to race another car and I told him to stop racing because he was racing on a highway 150 miles per hour and we could have got killed so I kept telling him to stop racing the other car and he got mad and hit my mouth <gasps> and he told me to off for yelling at him to stop I could have gotten us killed. And that's not true, I honestly need help, what would you guys do in this situation? And my answer is, eat him. There's this thing you can do when you slow roast certain meats for a long time, specifically smoked or honey drizzled, they taste really super nice. Especially after such a stressful situation too. Sounds like you need something nice to snack on to help make you feel better from going through all that stress and drama. Second question, why are women so needy and annoying? My answer is, why do you care? If you don't like the way a certain thing is, here's a hint, go away. Third question, will you be my cookie and can I eat you? My answer, maybe? Think I make a pretty toxic cookie if you ask me. Would you eat a cookie constantly leaking bogeys and mucus? It's your call, man. Fourth question, am I a slut? And my answer is, no, but you do sound like you need some soup. Would you like some soup? It's super yummy, and people say that soup is the key to healing anything. You never know, it may help you to learn to love yourself a bit more, and not care so much about other people's irrelevant opinions. Fifth question, and now this is a semi-serious question, why am I attracted to gay guys when I'm a girl? And my answer is, why shouldn't you be? Gay guys are awesome, they hold the stereotype of being fun, fabulous, flamboyant, they have good fashion sense, and are known for most definitely not conforming to all these silly rules and standards a lot of toxic masculinity seems to have these days. You don't have to stalkishly pursue someone or end up with them for life to feel attracted to their personality and just how they are in general. Who cares? If you see art, appreciate it. If you're entranced in a moment, live it to your fullest potential. Life is for living, and if you don't, you'll end up sick and dying like me. And now, my sixth and final last question. How do I tell a crush that I like him? He makes me feel happy and warm inside. Whenever I'm near him though, I feel nervous. Okay, so you want to show him that you love him, right? But you don't want to feel all exposed and under pressure, right? So here's what you do. Open up your search bar and type into Google triple flavoured death by chocolate layered gourmet cake recipe. And you make him that cake. Pour your whole heart into it. Eat in little pieces of your soul into the icing. Spill forth every piece of love that you feel for him into this cake. You feel me? And if you're feeling brave, melt down some cherry white chocolate into a sauce and write out your feelings as a love letter onto each layer. And bear with me now, because it gets better. Have this cake mailed to his house. Employ the royal guard if you have to, as it is imperative that your cake gets there in chocolatey tip-top perfection. And then, once he opens the cake, you burst out of it where you've been hiding in the centre. And he'll love it, because he'll love the cake, of course, but he'll love surprises even more so. And what's better than having the love of your life burst forth dripping with chocolate and being able to share cake together? Nothing, that's what. And see, you can see if you can make sure to have at least one of the cake deliverers as a signed and registered priest, so he can marry you two off together right then and there before anyone else realises what's going on. I hope this helps, and I hope you enjoyed my very non-serious video today. Good luck in life, and be safe out there. Ciao!